going on guys? You're now giving me back to show 22 video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new cards that just got added to the 2022 postseason program. You enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and subscribe. Truly helps me out a ton. Let's get into it. So, I have not even gotten nearly close to finishing the last one, the wild card one, but you know, let's just skip right past that. We got three cards for every team that was eliminated in the Amer in the division series. Plus, we got some wild card stragglers as well, it looks like. So this looks like a very fun thing overall. And let's just get into taking a look at some of the cards. So, starting things off, we have 96 overall NLDS. Yensi Almonte, he throws a slider, a sinker, a four seam, and a circle change. None of the, he's outlier on that sinker. So that is going to be a very good pitch for him. Looks like a very solid relief pitcher out of the bullpen. You didn't have to do this, Emily Show. You didn't have to do this. Anyway, Josh Naylor cradling the baby. Take that L, Josh. All right, anyway. No, I'm moving on, moving on, moving on. Anyway, so Josh Naylor, 115 on both sides, right handed, 65 to 75 versus lefty with 84 vision, 79 fielding, 90 arm strength, and 42 speed. He can play first place plus the corner outfield spots. We got 96 on this is wild card George Kirby, four seam sinker, slider, curveball, and a cutter. 119 hits for 9, 89 Ks for 9, 101 walks for 9, 95. Home runs for 9, 125 pitching clutch. No, outlier on that sinker. Very good. This is a relief pitcher card. Keep that in mind. Relief pitcher. 45 stamina. 119 hits for 9. Five pitch mix with a four seamer, a sinker, a slider, a curveball, and a cutter. Those slider and curveball very similar, but you know, that's a good pitch mix. Next, we got Tyler Anderson, starting pitcher for the Dodgers. 100 hits for 9. So it's a four seamer, a circle change, a cutter, a sinker, and a 12 6 curve. 97 hits. No, 100 hits for 9, 97 Ks for 9, 88 walks for 9, 96 home runs for 9, 108 pitching clutch. We'll go along 90 control, 70 V low, and 99 break. Pretty solid lefty overall. We got ALDS Paul Sewell. So this is an interesting card. 125 hits for 9, 114 Ks for 9, 87 walks for 9, 99 home runs for 9, 125 pitching clutch, 90 control, and 77 V low, and 99 break. Go along with a four seamer, a slider, a two seamer, and that's it. That's that's all he has. Only four seamer, a slider, and two seamer. So I'm just gonna say this on record real quick. It looks like the wild card cards are people that like are the um, guys that advanced. So like if like the guardians and stuff, uh, the wild card teams that advance. I don't know. It looks very inconsistent. But anyway, moving on. We got Kyle Wright next. Slurve, sinker, four seamer, circle change, and slider. Does not have outlier on any of those. I'm pretty sure. 106. Hits run 92. Case for 9, 80, 84 walks for 9, 99 home runs for 9, 111 pitcher clutch, 92 control, 96 V love, 99 break. Very solid starting pitcher card overall. We got Travis Darno. We had a bomb that one game. 98, 125 contact, 96, and 115 power going with 84 vision, 83 fielding, 83 arm strength, and 49 speed for a catcher. One of the best left hitting catcher in the entire game. And I remember this card from a few years ago that absolutely demolished everything. I hit a bomb with that card. It was a great card overall. And I'm excited to see another Travis start a postseason card because I really like the last one that came out in 2020. Anyways, this, this is going to be a very fun glitchy catcher. And then we have the return of King Jock Peterson from the 2021 postseason who hit some bombs in the NLDS. 193. Contact 125, 95 power with 87 vision, 82 fielding, 75 arm strength, 93 arm accuracy, 46 speed. Can play everywhere in the outfield plus first base. We all know what Jock can do. Hit some power from the right, from the left-handed batter's box against right-handed pitching. Jock's just an absolute glitch. I love to face him. I, I, I mean, I know I don't love to face him. I love to use him because he hits some absolute tanks. I love his swing. He's always amazing. Jock King as well. We got 99 Tristan McKenzie from his start. In um in game two of the wild card, it looks like this is a wild card start. Anyway, 110 hits per nine, 101 Ks per nine, 92 walks per nine, 92 home runs per nine with 105 pitching clutch, 88 control, 77 below, and 99 break. He's four seamer, a slider, a 12 six, and a two seamer, and um you know not a ton of really great quirks there, but overall pretty good card. Tristan McKenzie got that lanky delivery. He's glitchy as normal. We got a headliner pack sprinkled in. We got some headliners sprinkled in here as well. Cover athletes, ball into habits. Um, from Legends, Takashaki, I forgot to mention though, just they're scattered out there. Uh, next we have, whoops, good one. We got Matt Olsen from the Atlanta Braves. 103, 90 contact, 125, 100 power, going 70 vision, 88 discipline, 109 clutch, 90 fielding, 70 arm strength, 69 arm accuracy, and 41 speed. Can play right field and obviously at primary first base. Matt Olsen, this looks like a very solid overall card. You know, Matt Olsen obviously can rake. He's got a pretty glitchy swing. Pretty fun card. It could be, you know, can absolutely destroy right-hand pitching. Great power from the right, um, from facing right-handed 
pitchers and overall nice little fun card there next we got spongebob himself who got sent packing by the new york anyway 109 105 contact 118 107 power 92 vision 52 discipline 125 clutch 80 fielding 99 arm strength and 85 arm length, 85 speed now we're getting into the real meat and potatoes cards here. We're going into the real juicy cards. This one is really, really good. It has some amazing hitting stats along with a cannon of an arm and 85 speed to go along with all that. That's a pretty good card right there from SpongeBob. Next, we got Luis Castillo, and you cannot ignore this card. Just taking a look. First of all, has outlier on the sinker, not on the fastball. You know, the sinker, that fastball is going 99. 112 stamina, 114 hits per nine, 97 case per nine, 100 walks per nine, 99 home runs per nine, 116 pitching clutch, 94 control, 99 below, 99 break. Has a devastating pitch mix. Four seamer, sinker, slider, circle change along with a good arm angle. This card is absolutely nasty. I can't say anything about it. Dominated in game one against the um, Blue Jays in the American League wild card. Just filthy card. Like, this is an amazing card right here. This is going to be an absolute glitch in your rotation. Next, we have the return of yet another king. 99-2020 postseason, Enrique Hernandez. 125-115 contact, 109-106 power, 85 vision, 74 discipline, 125 clutch, 92 fielding, 90 arm strength, and 62 speed. And he's carrying that 92 fielding to second base, third base, shortstop, and left field, and right field. So we can play everyone in the outfield, everyone in the infield is good for first base and catcher. So... Absolutely elite utility, man. We'll have uh, if you get him up to parallel three, we'll have diamond defense at all the positions as well. Just amazing. Kike Hernandez dominated that series. I expect him to dominate again, except he's not going to dominate because he's on the couch along with the Boston Red Sox, who also suck. Hey, I'm just kidding. We're done. We're done. The Yankees are getting smoked right now, so it doesn't. I, I don't know why I'm talking. But anyway, rounding things out, we got Trey Turner, the return of the glitch. This card looks. Oh my god. Once 118, 106 contact, 111, 98 power with 100 vision, 75 discipline, 118 clutch, 91 fielding, 85 arm strength, 85 arm, arm accuracy, 99 speed, and 97 steal and can play first base. No, no, not first base. Second base, third base, shortstop, and center field. Everyone remembers that trade turner all-star game card from last year. Well, this it, it's just better. This is just better. And the stats might jump out of you, but it's he's going to play above it. He's always played above his stats. Trey Turner is an amazingly glitchy swing. He's always nasty. Great speed, great versatility, great pop, and good defense. Trey Turner is just going to be an amazing card for your Dynasty squad. Then wrapping things up, we got 10 show packs and a ball, two ball and out of controls at the end of this. So you got Division Series moments now, a ton more of those. You got your um, Division Series tasks. Which, you know, we got certain guys, and you can double up on these as well. You can double up on these teams. You can double up on the um, Guardians and Mariners. Yeah, as you can see, you need... Actually, no, you can't double up with Guardians and Mariners. I, I lied completely. Never mind. It's not how that works. But anyway, start getting your PXP grind, folks, because you're going to want to get these cards. I'm going to have to start grinding. I'm only at 18. This is at 132. I'm going to need to get my grind going. But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's video. Coming in the near future, we want to take a quick look at it. Um, Ghosts and Ghouls program unlocks sick legend flashback with other streets and new other program or progress and event and conquest map. So that looks like a very fun program coming on the 28th of October. So that will be next Friday. And I also got the championship series cards as well. And this could change depending on how long the championship series actually go. And then the finest will return soon. Will be the next feature program once the fall starts ends. So start getting ready for finest, folks, because it's coming coming fast so if you enjoyed today's video hit that like button and subscribe helps me on a ton rug to 3k 3k see you in the next one peace out